Hey girls, Mama Gamers here and welcome back to another video. Today I am trying to move as little as possible when it comes to my facial expressions. And no, it is not because of Botox. Huh, it's the Botox. I know this would have been a great explanation, but not quite yet. Give me one or two years. It's because of the fact that I have not powdered my face yet. I know. I know, very shocking. I'm someone, I have a lot of facial expressions. Today we're talking about, stick with me, this will be a cute little long explanation. It will be a little all over the place, but it will make sense eventually. Many, many years ago, I was a very, very big fan of Tati Westbrook. She one day reviewed a powder and she called it the devil powder. I'm gonna throw it up here, okay? But I recently found this in my recommendation list. I have not watched a video of hers in, in quite a while, I'm gonna be fully honest. I realized, wait a minute, this powder is from one of my absolute favorite brands. A brand that I claimed before could not disappoint me. We're talking about Sizzly Paris. I recently bought this the last time I was at the Maison Sisley in Munich. The Fito Poudre Libre. So the loose face powder with hibiscus flower extract. This bad boy retails for 95 US dollars or around 82 euros if you're in Austria. Hi, if you couldn't tell my fig accent, I'm from Austria. Love. Sizzly. They're a brand that combine makeup and skincare. They have amazing formulations. Their products work amazingly, at least for me personally. Unbeatable, honestly. Like, not even La Mer comes close to them. If you want to know what I think about the Loose Fito Powder by Sizzly, then stay tuned. You could give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, because we're heading for the millions. At least in my head. But if you subscribe, we are heading for them really love too. Don't forget to ring a bell to get notified when I post new videos normally every Monday and Fridays, always uploaded at 6 p.m. Central European time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Let's put it down for a second and let's talk facts. It comes in four different colors. Irisé, which means shiny, sparkly. This one really has a little bit of golden micro glitter in it. We have matte, which is this one. We have rose d'orient, which means the oriental rose. And uh, sable, which is more like a... It's not a banana powder, it's more beige-y. Velvety complex, smoothing, blurring and mattifying. It creates a perfecting halo that gives incomparable radiance. So this is like a no makeup makeup product. That's what they told me at the store too. Enriched with natural skincare active ingredients, hibiscus flower extract, linen blossom extract and mallow extract. It is suitable for all skin types, even the most sensitive. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking for the powder puff. In the boutique, they told me to use this. If you're wondering why this is already dirty, I did do the close-up that I already inserted pre-filming this video, so beforehand, and I touched the powder. And let me tell you, I, I, I do too much facial movements, pardon me. It is the softest powder I've ever touched in my life. It feels like butter, but like make it 10 times creamier. This is insane. So let's throw up the full ingredients set here. On this channel, we are very focused on ingredients and Sizzly, you know, they promote the ingredients. So let's take a full look. The main ingredient is talk, which is quite standard. It has been under fire in the recent years. I don't have an issue with talc. You have silica, you have dimethicone. Photo retouch effect, I can see that with dimethicone, which is silicone. This will blur every single imperfection. You have the mellow flower extract. You have the hibiscus extract, very high on the ingredient set. Most brands, you know, promote fancy extracts and put them on the bottom. We recently had it with a La Mer lip gloss. I'm just gonna say it the way it is. And uh, Sisley does not do that, which is fine. Glycerin, olive fruit oil, fragrance, which makes a lot of sense. Sisley is a brand that uses aromatherapy. Overall, I really like the ingredient set. The fancy extracts definitely give it a luxury feeling. You have a mirror. I will say, this is not detachable, and I'm someone I detach the lid and pour the powder in. It comes with a sifter. Here you see the powder already comes out. Some powders do have a closure, like the one by Charlotte Tilbury, the magic powder, which I prefer. And for 95 bucks, you could have given this to us, Sizzly. So I'm gonna go in with the powder. This is first impression. Oh, there's a very big difference. Like, this is matte. That is matte. Do you see that? Oh my god. That is matte matte. It feels very pleasant on the skin. Oh my god, I got powder on my Versace sweater. How do you like these cutouts with the safety pins? Let's go in with the powder puff. I normally don't do that. Full transparency. I actually do like that. And she is the moment. 
I really like it so far. It feels like no powder is on my skin. Doesn't look dry. Doesn't look cakey. We're gonna see how this wears throughout the day. I'm gonna, you know, do the rest of my face. I'm simply obsessed with the new Sizzly lipsticks. If you haven't seen my video on them, what are you waiting for? Honestly, they're just so good. This is shade number 10, so sheer nude. We've been wearing the powder for not quite an hour yet, but it's been a little while. It looks fabulous, it really does. We're gonna hop onto the train in around half an hour. I mean, two trains. But like, that's a long story, doesn't matter. But we're gonna do a little wear test and a little uh, shopping moment. So I'm gonna put that one into my purse and um, I'm gonna show you the outfit of the day. Thank you for making that announcement that no one cared about. guys so we are in the train we have insane delay i don't know why so i thought i'm gonna do my first check-in it's three hours basically it looks fabulous i mean the mask obviously you know took off some makeup especially on the nose also my eyes watering once more i don't know what's wrong i think it's the mask actually the dry air from the mask probably does it i don't know i really like how the powder set everything in place Literally so embarrassing. The police just uh, wanted to see my passport and me. Oh my god, so so embarrassing. Whatever. It looks good. Very fine. Very great. So we're hopefully on the way to Munich because that eye won't hold long anymore. But the powder does. It looks it looks real great. I mean, that's real daylight. We finally arrived to Munich. Fortunately, it felt like an eternity. Around three hours, actually. Um, makeup holds up quite well. So let's go to Sizzly. They have brought out a brand new foundation, or it's a reformulated foundation actually. And uh, we're gonna see how this one performs. So you guys, we got the foundation, hopefully in the right shade. We were talking for two hours straight. It was so, so, so much fun. So we're now on our way to Versace. Our time plan ruined, but we don't care. So let's go to Versace. guys i am back it has been an amazing day honestly i'm not gonna lie my makeup it does look a little botched yes that's true but this is mainly due to the mask it was so much fun with sizzly i was there for two and a half to three hours i cannot believe that and it only took 20 minutes to buy the new foundation Video is already out, so go check it out if you want to. I can't wait to compare this with the old V2 Blow foundation. It will be a side-by-side -side match, honestly. And also, we've been at Versace, and it was so much fun, too. We bought underwear, like, a lot of underwear. Like, four pair. Isn't that, like, the fanciest underwear you've, you've ever seen? However, we are in the midst of a review. I really, really love the powder. This held my makeup together 
like no powder else. We've been wearing this makeup and this is insane that I'm saying this out loud, but I mean it honestly. We've been wearing that makeup for over 14 hours. My beard already started growing in, okay? Like that's there, uh, yeah, that's my beard. It's growing back. Disgusting! Besides the places where my mask took off the foundation, it really kept everything in place. That powder doesn't look dry, doesn't look cakey, doesn't look wrinkly or crunchy or bunchy. And of course, it's a great foundation that I've been using, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. But this powder is insane. So the, you know, critical video of Tati Obviously, it is her opinion and she's allowed to, to share her opinion, but I have to totally disagree. I love that powder. You guys, let me know. How did you enjoy this video? Did you get interested in the Sizzly powder? This one, it really is great. Like, I'm, I'm sounding shook. I don't want to sound shocked, but like, I'm, I'm low-key impressed. Like, not low-key, but I'm really, really impressed. Also, the subtle fragrance. Great. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and ring a bell. Do not forget to tune in for a brand new video. And uh, until then, we're going to see us hopefully very soon. Bye. I'm going to remove the makeup. 14 hours. That's long. That's way too long. You should not wear your makeup as long. Bye. Mwah.